Dandy? Could you not? Hello everyone, and welcome to Survival Minecraft Episode 2. I have yet to meet a Minecraft mob that has more than two brain cells. I think today should start off with a little bit of an adventure. Since this is a brand new update, I want to take a look all around the perimeter of my little mountain grove here, and see what's all around me. Fortunately, we can avoid some of the powdered snow with leather boots. Unfortunately, this is our only source of leather. Okay, some leather boots for the journey. We will be making them pink for the fashion statement, of course. Dandy, look! I'm wearing your color. Dandy doesn't seem to care about my fashion statement, but that's okay. I think I look great. Now, I spawned over in this direction, so let's start over here and get a nice survey of the land. Okay, this side has a forest, a taiga, and our spawn over there. Now, let's just prance along these frozen peaks in our new boots and see what we can't find. I'm a mountain climber. It's official. This peak up here appears to be the tallest in the entire grove. This is definitely a very tall peak. And hey, look, I can see a village over there. Oh, hello, nitwit. <laughs> these two villages are beautifully perched here along this mountain. Hey, there's a blacksmith down here. Let's see what you've got. Oh, obsidian. Wait, that's kind of good. I love how it's right on the edge of this forest. Look at this. Minecraft looks so incredibly different now. Chest? <laughs> With a lot of apples. Okay, sure. Oh, look, it goes all the way down to the water. Wait, I kind of love this village. Tons of caves along here too. <laughs> Villages are always placed very precariously, aren't they? As much as I love these villages, I have to get back to my grove. Oh, look at this. This is powdered snow. <laughs> I'm light as a rabbit. <laughs> so that means because I have my leather boots on, they're protecting me from the powder, but I can still sink in it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. It's nighttime, I gotta go home. Er, real quick. Last episode, I asked you all to like episode one for me to release the seed. And oh boy, did you like the video. So this is me letting you know how I created the world. The seed that I put in was just Gemini Tay is good, which I will translate to numbers in the description down below if that's what you need. This seed should work on both Bedrock and Java edition because of seed parity. They won't be exactly the same, but like close enough, you should have a grove. When you spawn into the world, you should log into the same place I did. Two villages over there. And then if we fly this way, that's our grove right there. It's really, really Really, really near spawn. But just in case you need it, here's the coordinates. I hope you enjoy this world as much as I do. Now, as much as I love climbing a mountain every single time I go to leave my house, I think there's an easier way. We come down here, we have a little cave. And, and this cave doesn't really go anywhere productive. Like, let me show you. Just kind of winds to here and then it stops. But I was thinking if we continued it perhaps in like a sort of natural shape, maybe it would poke out in a productive spot on the other side of the mountain. Only thing is, I have no idea how long it's gonna take or where exactly we're gonna poke out. Hey, there's grass. <laughs> oh gosh, where are we? Oh, do you know what? This is kind of perfect. <laughs> this will be our little secret sort of tunnel. We can cover it in vines maybe so that it's not as easily visible from the ground. And then all I gotta do is widen the tunnel a little bit so it's more comfortable to walk through and so that we don't constantly hit our head. Tunnel is nearly complete. Look at this. We can now run all the way through it. I've placed some slabs here for our own comfort. It still looks very cave-like, which I like, but I've placed a couple of leaves around. It's just a smooth transition straight out the other side. And look at how magical it is when you come through here. We definitely need more of these tunnels, but this is our little secret one for now. I think it's gonna look even more magical with some wood in. So I'm gonna chop some of these trees and see if that looks okay. Don't worry though, I'll replant. I can hear so many cave noises while I'm here peacefully chopping trees. Hello? You guys hear that? There's something here. <laughs> I get the feeling we have uh, hostile guests under the snow. So what I'm thinking on the inside here is we just have a couple of pillars like that and, and not too many, just in a couple of places, like maybe one here, for example. I think it'll be really good to just like break up some of the gray. Now I'm gonna go do a quick investigation on what those hostile mob sounds were. Don't mind me, just uh, investigating. They're very loud and it's all spiders. Let's go see. Oh, if I just break my way in here, there should hopefully be a cave. More iron, don't mind if I do. Oh! Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> hi. 
pits literally right by the surface. Unfortunately, no chests for us to claim, but uh, lots of spideys. Hello. This seems overall like a fairly small cave, which is good. But gosh, the, it was overrun with spiders. Like a spider infestation. Come on. I'm fine. Okay. This is pretty cool. I'm glad we could get rid of the spider noises. That makes me happy. Now I can chop trees in peace. We also have the option to make an XP grinder there if we want to. The time has come, everyone, for us to leave our little grove and venture out into the unknown. I'm being a tad dramatic. The main thing that we've explored so far in this update is, well, cliffs. But there's also caves. If I remember correctly from episode one, just in the forest across from this meadow here, there was a big cave, and I think I can actually see it from here. Time for a caving expedition, everyone. Ore distribution in the new update got a massive change, and there's this picture that the developers of Minecraft have released that kind of describes it. Lucky for us, though, there's only one thing we need to pay attention to today, and that is that diamonds are uh, deep. Like, very deep. I just need to find a cave that goes extremely deep. Whoa, look at this. It's incredible. Of course, I'll collect iron and things along the way, but my main objective today is to get deep and explore new things. Oh, I guess there's only one way to go from here. Down. Whoa. <laughs> this is so wild. Let's put our brave pants on and just, whoop. Hello, Mr. Skeleton, is this your home? This is definitely up there for the coolest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. Okay, there's a little bit of iron here, but my main objective remains diamond. So let's head into the depths, shall we? These caves are crazy. Look how big these stalactites and stalagmites are. Here we go. This one goes deeper. One of the better things about this update is we need way less torches now, so I can just place one every now and then, and mobs only spawn at light level zero. Oh, I didn't expect that to actually work. I just... <laughs> What? I've just broken into the largest cave I think I've ever seen. Have you ever seen anything like this? I, I kind of just want to look at it for a bit. Beautiful. I, I, I'm kind of forgetting that I'm meant to be mining right now. Ouch. It is spiky. Okay, there's a lot of mobs. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's so many mobs. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to dodge the mobs if we can. Whoa. It's a tunnel to a lush cave. And we're on deep slate level. This has been so fast. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Let's continue on through here. Oh my goodness. That's the sky. I mean, it's quite obvious, but <laughs> sorry. Everything's a little amazing right now, but it's the sky. <laughs> and look, spore blossoms naturally in the world. Won't lie, lava's kind of ruining the effect. This lush cave, oh my goodness. Look at the tropical fish spawning. And there's drip leaf as lily pads all around. <laughs> that bat just triggered a drip leaf. Is it bad that I kind of just want to like hang out here forever? <laughs> I don't need diamonds, I just need lush caves. Oh, <gasps> axolotls. Hello? Oh, you're killing things, aren't you? Oh my goodness, we've got to take them home. I've, I've only got one bucket. Hold on, come here, come here, come here. The cutest predator. Oh, oh. Yep. All right. I've decided I must adopt both of the axolotls. Yep. You're coming with me. <laughs> so now we've got a gold one and a pink one. Okay, it's getting dark outside because I've been hanging out in the slush cave forever. But I think it goes deeper. So let's head downwards. Hello berries are so magical. Got to make our cave at home look like this. Oh, I'm just trying to find a path downwards. Oh, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. How magical it is when you come through a tiny tunnel and it opens up into this. Wow. Oh, I want that. Thank you. So I know I entered for diamonds, but so far I've got everything but. So in order to have the best chance at getting diamonds, we need to get below that deep slate line. So this cave is actually a really good example. You see how it's stone right here in the night and then it goes down to deep slate. That's what we want because in those deep slate layers is where you can find diamonds. You'll find the most diamonds near bedrock, but today we're just going to cave. It's also a great idea to stock up on coal before going down because deep slate coal ore is pretty rare. Oh my gosh, there's a mine shaft down there. That looks very dangerous. Okay, now, <laughs> as beautiful as this is, uh, I need a way down. Hello. Okay, oh. <laughs> Please don't blow up the lush cave, it's too pretty. 
Oh, 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 skeleton, you're making this real difficult. No, 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 no! <sighs> okay, good news though, there's some water here. So, how about we go for a little sailing trip? Whoa! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh goodness. Okay. You know what? This is actually quite peaceful. Why am I sinking? What? Hello? Okay, okay, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Just cave water. Look, everyone. It's an aquifer. And it has glow squids. Look how cool they look. This is incredible. I'm swimming with the glow squids. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. I never in a million years imagined Minecraft would look like this. I'm having so much fun caving. Caving used to be such a chore for me, and now it's genuinely a fun activity. Right, despite all the fun I'm having, I ought to continue. Okay, we need to get down to that mine shaft down there, and I think I see diamonds over there. Although I can't see very well, so it could just be glow like it. Look, this is a geode right here. And it's a pretty good one. Look at this. I'll make room in my inventory for a little bit of amethyst. We can always come back. Creeper, no creeping, please. This is level negative 35. What the heck? And it goes even deeper, look. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for diamonds, but they'd be really hard to see down here. Oh, look at that, right there. Do you see that? I think that is our very first diamond, look. There we go, there it is. I think it's just the one. That is pretty cool, diamonds. We did it, we got one. I am gonna need more than one. Um, It's a good thing there's a lot of cave left. Excuse me, thank you. Oh, hello. Look, there's diamonds right there on that pillar. Let's hop down here. I can see that it's only one, but that'll bring our total up to two. There we go. And I think I see another one right over there. It is, look. Oh, and there's so many mobs. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, hello everybody. Yeah, hi. Hello. Um, uh, Nice of you to join me here today. I think I'm attracting every zombie in the vicinity. Okay, now let's go get that diamond. Whoa, three creepers. Four creepers. Diamonds. Just very carefully. Oh, it's more than one. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's grab these. Oh my goodness. We're up to seven diamonds. Oh my gosh. And this is level negative 43. So the deeper down we go, the higher our chances get until you're right near bedrock and then your chances are the highest. I think caving should be enough for us today, so I'm just gonna gather whatever other materials I can get in this area. Okay, this is that mine shaft we were seeing earlier. Little worried about cave spiders. Not so worried about skeletons. Oh dear. Hello. Oh, I strongly dislike cave spiders. Oh, it's a chest. Golden apple, all right. And a bunch of torches, I kinda needed those. And beetroot seeds! Oh, I love planting beetroot. Okay, um, I will leave those couple of things, that's okay. Oh, <gasps> whoa, look at this. <laughs> There's diamonds on both sides of me. It's kinda crazy seeing the full deep slate walls in these mines. They used to only be stone. Oh! Look at that! That might be the prettiest geode I've ever seen in my life. What? Look at it! Everyone, we have got to build a base here. This is so cool. The mobs are fighting each other. I'm gonna just ignore that. Pretend it's not happening. Look at this. <laughs> Can you imagine having a base here? I don't even want to destroy it. I, I think I'm gonna leave it intact. We could have a base here, a little house in the lush cave. That'll be perfect. It'll be like a secondary base for us. I'm gonna take some of these shards so that we can make a spyglass. Okay, uh, my inventory is very full. I have granted a lot of junk, but also some stuff that's not junk, and I think I ought to go to the surface with it. You have a fish. Why do you have a fish? So, maybe if I just jump in this water stream, it'll take me to the surface. Oh, this seems dangerous. Um... Oh, nope, that's entirely water. That's, I can't breathe in there. Uh, there's no breath. I need air. I'm a human. Whew, okay. All right, I think we're almost back up the way we came, but I can see daylight right there. So maybe I don't have to go the way we came. Hello. It's always when you're on the way back with loot that you want to see mobs the least. Jeez. That is a hole that goes from the forest all the way down to diamond level. 
You know, that'd be really fun to fall down, actually. Okay, I'm gonna try to just dig my way up to the surface since I can see it up there. Oh. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a fox! <laughs> I just have to find my home, which, uh... Here's the coordinates if anybody plans to play on the seed. There's the mountains, look! <laughs> you know, living in a mountain is actually extremely convenient, because you can always see it. Here we are, back into the safety of our home. Dandy! I've brought home some riches! We're so rich, Dandy. We're so rich. Oh boy. Okay, um, you know what? Uh, we might need a storage room. Okay, so, let's talk storage room. We have a basement. It, sort of. I think if we were to do a little clear out of this space, it would make a great storage room. We can even make it extra cool by digging it way down and expanding into the hillside. My iron tools are in really rough shape, though. But you know what? I have enough diamonds for enchanting. And I only need one more obsidian, and I should be able to get leather and sugar cane. Maybe, if we play our cards right, we could get some starter enchants. Only thing is, we need one more piece of obsidian. When I was walking back earlier, I saw a ruined nether portal, but I never went there, so I'm wondering now if there was any obsidian for us. Do you see it? It's just right there. Here we are. Oh, wait, this one can actually be finished, and it has two gold blocks. Look, it just needs some obsidian. Unfortunately, no obsidian in the chest, but... Depstrider Curse of Binding. Oh gosh. I mean, fair enough. I'll take these things. It's okay though. I came prepared for this moment. I brought three extra diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe. And then we'll just extract one of these. There we go. I'll be taking that gold as well. All the materials have been acquired. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna have enough books for this, but it's nice to have anyways, and we should be able to enchant a couple of our next tools with level one enchant. And we'll just plop that in the corner for now. I think we'll have a fancy area for enchanting eventually, but that'll do for now. I know a lot of people skip over the enchanting iron tools or even the level one thing, but if you know me, then you know I love the early game. And if you've only got a few diamonds, then doing this is a really good way to get your tools to go a little further. Or a little faster, in our case. Right, let's dig out a storage room. Okay, I've brought the basement down quite a bit, but there's a reason. I want this to have a window in it. So I've brought it low enough that it's below our spiral staircase that's outside. And, uh, in theory, if we dig that way, we'll have a window. But uh, I have to go get a new pickaxe. So, like I was saying, right through here, I have a window. Now this is a good storage room view, I think. Hello, Enderman. What you doing? So, the only thing to do now is to widen out the room down here. Ta-da! This should be a great storage room. It's just right below my house, and I've even included room for a bonus room. I don't know what I'll put there, but it's a bonus room. And this is Dandy's room. And mine, technically. All I gotta do now is chop a bit of wood so that I have some for all the chests. Okay, now, as far as chests go, I think we'll just sort of line them up like that. Maybe in sections of three, and then we'll do a pillar, just to break it up. That should be about enough chests. Eventually, once we get a light block, I think we'll do the entire backing out of, like, stream light or glowstone or something. For now, it's gonna have to be awkwardly placed torches. I love decorating a storage room. I don't know what it is about it, but <laughs> the vibes are just so good. Storage room decor. Complete! Look! I used some stuff from the Lush Cave, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's such a cozy vibe in here, and we have tons of storage. I haven't filled all of these out yet. As you can see, they're empty, but there's lots of space here for us in the early game, and probably even in the late game, to store everything that we need to build up this grove. Now, very importantly, I also want to work on this area right here, having a proper window. I don't think it needs to be anything particularly fancy, just like a little curved window. Yeah, like so. Only thing is, we need some glass for the window. And I don't think I've seen any sand. So, it's back through the tunnel to see if we can find any sand. Sand acquired. The process of smelting all this sand has given me an idea. What if we made our first auto furnace? It can go in our spare room right here. <laughs> kind of a funny thing for a spare room, but I like it. So, we just put the furnace there, and we have it coming out into that, and then up top, on top of it, we do the input, and then we can put a fuel one too, but right now I don't have that much fuel, so I'm just gonna do that. So, basically, when I have something to smelt in bulk, like this copper, I can put it in here, it'll automatically funnel in there, and then it'll automatically output to this chest. Perfect. It's not much, but it's a start. And then, down here in this window, I'm just gonna use full glass blocks. Yeah, just like that. Then it's just a matter of decorating the frame, and we've got this beautiful view 
of the grove from my storage room. And you know what we can do with the copper? We can use it to make our very first spyglass. Dandy, I've got a spyglass. And since I built a watchtower in episode one, this is perfect. Oh my gosh. I can spy on everybody. Look at that. Look at all those auras over there. Oh my gosh. Yep. I could get used to this. The more time that I spend in this world, the more amazing ideas I have for everything. I have so many thoughts about how we can build up this grove. More farming, more tunnels, an area for our enchants, some builds to go around here would be absolutely magical. I'm thinking something fantasy for sure. We're pushing through the early game at a fairly good rate, so I think next episode, it's finally time to start building up a new project. I'm extremely excited to see where this world goes, and I hope that you are too. Thank you so much for watching this series. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.